Okay, hi guys. I've got another cutting video for you here. And here is my log of soap. This one is oh so yummy. And it's such a cool scent. Um, it's very, <laughs> very cherry. Oh, citrusy. With just a, on the base, a, a touch of um, woodsy, a, a woodsy note, um, which kind of balances it out. But it's a super yummy scent. It's really yummy. Just like the name. Oh, so yummy. Love the scent. Wasn't sure how it was going to hold up in cold process, but it held up really nicely. Well, this bar is going to be a little shy on weight, I can tell. Okay, so that bar is going to be mine. <laughs> and it's just got some red and kind of peachy orange swirl in there. No sparkle or anything on the top. Wow, that one's shy too, so I'm going to have to either keep that one or maybe I'll do um, maybe I'll do a two for one for those two smaller bars, but okay, I can get my act together here. Okay, this should be better. Little bit crooked, but it's a chunkier bar. This one's gonna weigh a good weight. Yeah, this one weighs like 4.7 ounces, so it'll cure out to probably just a little under four and a half or so. So again, these um, I'm recording this now, but I'll actually upload the video when the soap's all finished curing and listed on my Etsy and Artfire. So 
I'll leave the, the links down below this video in the description box and to my Etsy and Artfire stores. And you'll be able, to, if you want to, just click on those to go see them, buy them. And I really like how that the swirling came out on that one, especially this one, that side. So yeah, I'll wait to upload the video until they're fully cured and listed. just like that. I don't even know if I showed you. <laughs> I didn't even show you the top of the log, did I? That was awful. I kind of messed up my routine. I wish I'd shown you the what the top looked like. The whole thing. For some reason I seem to be cutting these a little bit on the shy side, so since they're all consistently a little bit smaller, what I'll probably do is list them at a, a little bit cheaper price um, than my regular ones. I don't know why they weigh less. I, I feel like I'm cutting them. Let's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Well, I'm going to get one extra bar that I don't usually get out of it, so I guess that would explain. I am cutting them a little shy then. It doesn't feel like I am. They look, the, they look about the same size to me, but I guess they're not. So I'll advertise them a little bit lighter weight and a little bit less expensive, a little bit of a discounted price. And some of them you'll still be getting the, you know the regular size, four and a half ounces or so. But there's most of them came out just a little bit under that weight. That I like so. So no, this will be. I'm gonna cut another piece at the end because for one, it's crooked, and I don't like that. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> A little bit. And I'm just gonna shave a little off here because I just don't like that. It's crooked. I don't know why I'm doing such a crappy job cutting today. And I'll just roll that up in a little sample for me. That should be better. Yeah, 
is woo, that one weighs almost five ounces. So getting a really big bar, big bar for the lower price. Okay. small ball. We have all kinds of these balls of soap sitting around. <laughs> but they look kind of cool and if you get low on some soap, you can grab a little ball and use it. A little hand soap. Here is Oh So Yummy, and here's what the bar looks like. What was one of my favorite ones? Was this one? Yeah, I really like the way this swirl came out on these. Those were my favorites. And there's the samples for those, end cut samples. And the mini loaf. And this is what Jessie made. Only she floated a little carnation in some um, some water with some these little things that are I think they're called orbies or something like that. But the little round things in the water. So I thought that was pretty. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.